So I was going back to right, and then I had to have. So I was playing with a knee injury no. in 2016 that I got, and um, I had to have surgery. Wow. End of, yeah, and then I went back to England, and then ugh, I saw a doctor here, and it just wasn't right. Yeah. Came back in 2017, and obviously things changed with management, etc. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, then it sort of just went from there, really. Yeah, you know, as a Quakes as a Quakes fan myself, and I can probably talk for, about a lot of the fan base. I don't think a lot of them think it's your fault. I think it's more of uh, what the <laughs> staff was at the time and where it went <laughs> and the decisions that <laughs> FO made. So don't ever feel yeah. like it was your fault because you gave it your all every day. So and we right, appreciate. Yeah, that. thank you. Yeah, man, and we appreciate you wearing that crest with pride, man. That was that was the coolest thing about you, man. Like. You wanted to come back, and that's and that's oh, something absolutely. that all those fans love love that about you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, I think it's one of the, the best franchises in 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 in, in the US uh, in the US at the moment. Um, yeah, I, okay. I think that, that's that's a pretty... uh, yeah, definitely no, because I mean, I mean, I've got a lot of friends that play on on other teams. Yeah, yeah, you know, of course. You have, you have uh, New York, but all these teams. Yeah. Um, I mean. We we have a family there. There's a family there. And mm. I, you don't really see that a lot around the world in football. Right. And, and then that's from the players, uh, from the, the, the staff, um, the people in the front office. Yeah. Um, it was like a family. And you can't shy away from that. You can't get away from that because that's what the, the club is built on. Yeah. And you need to keep that just so um, you, you, know, you can progress in, in years to come. Oh, that's, that's, that's great to hear. I mean, as uh, a fan, I've never heard that. So that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. So really quickly, when you were in London or when you were playing in Jamaica, did people recognize you on the street? Was it different in San Jose where you could literally do anything you wanted to with no paparazzi, no one following you? Yeah, no, do you know what? Um, It's a weird one because uh, I felt like in San Jose, I got more attention in terms of people come up to you. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of people in San Jose came up to me, you know, and started speaking about the game, etc., in England, people will recognize you, but they won't really say much. They'll just oh, look, okay. look, keep looking at you and then just walk away. And then, <laughs> but, so that's what you get there. So it's a weird one, you know? <laughs> and, and then you go on Twitter later and see, oh, Simon Dawkins buying a whole bunch yeah. of oranges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, exactly, exactly that. I mean, I had one time uh, someone following me in the, in, the, in the grocery store, like literally, like looked like they were picking the same things that I was picking and going around. And then eventually at the, at the end, I was just like, he ran. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, can I get a picture?" I was like, "You could ask me, you know, a long time before. You didn't have to pick all the groceries." And, <laughs> you know, but it was, um, yeah, it's stuff like that. But it, was, it was great. It was great. Great comedy. <laughs> so, talking about like coming back to the U.S. and and wanting to play again, would you come back to the U.S. and play? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Um, uh, like I've always said, um, I mean. It, I love the U.S. Yeah, love it. Um, I, I start basically starting my career there. If you think mm. about it, um, and I've always said that I want to. I see myself being there, um, whatever it may be, by playing again, coaching, whatever it is. But yeah, I definitely want to. I definitely want to. I'd love to play there again, um, and just uh, get back to enjoying, enjoying yeah. uh, playing again, playing soccer. Would you Would you be okay with playing like, let's say, like a? I know it's going to be maybe a little too touchy, but like in Oakland Roots, somewhere where you're recognized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I've, I've heard actually that, that Oakland Roots is there. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Are they, are they coming? Are they in the USL? Yeah, so they are in the USL. Um, they're coming in hot. I mean, they, they've, they've, uh, they've gotten a lot of Quake signings, and they look like they're right. going to compete really well in USL because Reno, unfortunately, was the Quakes affiliate. They're not around right. anymore. Um, right. But Oakland oh, seems not, like, really? yeah, yeah. Oakland seems like the natural progression of possibly becoming an affiliate to the Quakes. They say they don't want to be attached because maybe they want to make a bid in the future, but who knows about that, right? So, interesting, right? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, that's that's yeah. I mean, I'll, you know, I mean, I'd love to get back to the to Simon. Do the I area. need to become your agent right now? Do I need to go talk you may to, have to you? Thank you. you may have to. You may have to. You <laughs> reach right now. Let's let's, let's talk business. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You know, Nagoya Grampus, the team that I'm close to, 
They would love to have Simon Dawkins. They have a number one fan out here, all right? You know? <laughs> listen, listen, we, we'll talk about that for sure. Um, but yeah, like, the, like, like I said, the bear is like, it's like home. It's yeah. Like home thing. Um, and it, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to do that there. So well, you never know. You never know. What, what city did you live in? Did you live in San Jose when you were there both times? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I lived, I lived in. So the first time I was there, I was in uh, San, Santa Clara. It was a bit, yeah, yeah. A bit more. But then uh, the second time I was in, is in San Jose. Second time you were um, like, so I, I got a little bit more change. You know, I can buy a, a real pad. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I thought, you know what? Yeah, definitely. And obviously, the last time I felt when I was in Santa Clara, I was going to San Jose, San Jose a lot. So um, I, I was living in, um, sorry, what's the road? I keep forgetting the name now. Uh, of I, I, was, I, was living, I was living on the road. What's it called? The the road? Uh, the the road, row. Uh, oh, near, Santana. Near Santana. So, so, right, Santana. Santana. Road. I was living in Santana. Santana yeah, road. Yeah. So I, the first time I was always going there, you know, mm. to eat, so whatever. Right. More was there. So the, the second time around, I thought, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna live there and, <laughs> and uh, see. So yeah, we lived there, and it was it was lovely to be around, to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. it's a great area. I mean, San Jose is yeah, whole, yeah. a whole bunch of different cultures. Um, very yeah. underrated city, to be honest. But it's it's awesome. Nightlife's fun. If uh, if you and your wife, you know, had some fun out there, it was probably a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, all right. So really quickly. If the Quakes called you right now and they're like, you know what, we want you to be a part of the organization, would you take that? Like any role? Like wh what would you feel like you're more yeah, comfortable I think in? I'll, GM? I think, I think I'll, yeah, yeah. So I definitely, I definitely think I'll consider that because, like I said, it's, it is, um, it's, it's like I feel like that's home. San Jose is home. Yeah. The club, like uh, I had such a connection with the club, the fans. Mm -hmm. So. That is somewhere something I would definitely consider. So if something did come up, say right now, I, I would be like weighing up my option in terms of yeah. playing or or going into that route of coaching. So right. I look at it and see, well, this could be something long term. Yeah. Is it best this long term now? So, you know, for the future. So yeah, definitely something I've <laughs> always considered when it comes to San Jose. Always. Yeah. Um <laughs> and obviously now, so now obviously I'm I, I'm spoke about it in the media, but I'm uh I'm no longer with my partner before. So um, I'm more of a, a, I'm a single man now. So, um, whoa! If everybody's listening, anybody's listening oh, right no, now, no, you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have a girlfriend right now. So. Oh no! Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. are you girl sorry, Teutonic have, tape fans? You're sorry about no, no, that. No, no, no. Yeah, sorry, I have a, I have a girlfriend now, so it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit different. But um, yeah, so like obviously it's a difference from when I was there last time. Right. Uh, yeah, that's the situation. Just to look clear it all up. <laughs> 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 okay okay um do you feel more comfortable like on the gm side of things or coaching like your your true passion um you know i mean the G G gm gm is a nice title yeah, yeah <laughs> you know? definitely um, definitely um, right ones, yeah yeah I'd, I'd, I'd definitely love for something like that um mm. gm's quite good but then obviously it depends because i haven't been involved in any coaching side of things yet mm. and because I'm still a player at the moment, I don't know if I'll be Correct, itching yeah. to get there yeah, on the yeah, field yeah. and want to be involved. Because as I know, some so many coaches that have coached me, they can't they they can't give it up. I mean, right? Do you know what I mean? They have to get involved somehow. So it's like, <laughs> definitely. I don't know if I'm one of those people yet, or if I'm going to miss playing. Right. Because if I don't miss playing, I think GM would be a perfect role. Got it. Uh, that makes sense. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do you follow the Quakes right now? Do you still follow them, what they're doing? Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. I've been watching. Obviously, I know the, the situation in terms of the, the COVID. Um, right. I, I wasn't quite sure. I was trying to figure out what was happening because it seemed like um, the, league, the, the league stopped, right? Yeah. And then it went into some, something else. Is that right? Like a yeah. different... Correct. So yeah. last year, um, they went into a MLS's back format, which was kind of like a World Cup-esque um, kind of preseason right. okay. tournament. And then right. they went into their season and their season right. was based off of points per game, but they didn't let us know that until three games left. <laughs> so it was like, okay. I mean, and then the quakes had a bad stint throughout the middle of the season where we were losing seven to one or six to one. And then they turned it around and made the playoffs. And then they lost in the playoffs in the first round on penalties though. So they had a yeah, great yeah. season. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I, I sort of caught up a lot with it towards the end. Yeah, um, I was following then. So yeah, I, I did. I was trying to figure out what was happening because it was yeah. like we're saying normal. Right? I was thinking, what's going on? Right, here? right. I saw in the playoffs. I was thinking, what's you know? Well, what's Simon, happening? now but, now our rival is Vancouver. So I mean, <laughs> so a lot has Vancouver changed. Now, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <Christ. laughs> 
No, yeah, right. It's, uh, we, we call I, it the. Yeah. We call it the third wheel derby, you know, because because LAFC and LA Galaxy are too cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's it's um yeah, we're gonna have a lot of rivals, I'm sure. Um, but I definitely follow San Jose all the time. I haven't haven't stopped following since I first arrived in 2011. To be honest, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, it's always something. I have to be careful the time because to watch it, the time yeah, right. Is, is no, it? tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all right, exactly. So yeah. um, I've been following. I've been following. Um, I've been following a lot. Uh, what Chris Chris Wanderlossi is doing. Yeah, so happy that I think he's still there for another year. Yep, one more year. So uh, I'm so so happy. Um, and Shay Shay Salinas as well. Um, yeah, and some other guys that are still there. So it's great. Yeah, I mean, we need to we need to you know sign Bradley Wright Phillips so he doesn't get close, but <laughs> so, <laughs> so he doesn't pass Wando. But uh, no, I know, I know, I know. He's yeah. done well as well. By the way. He's done yeah, well. he's close. He's close. So that's the only scariest part of them both yeah. playing. So that's why maybe they're they're giving giving each other a go, one last go, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then, so I have another question for you before we get yeah. into like the Tottenham and the the regular questions. <laughs> Where do you yeah. feel like you played your best football? Like, where do you feel like you were the peak Simon Dawkins? Um, the peak? Yeah. Uh, uh, the peak would have to be, you have to, I probably at Derby my first Derby. year. Mm. Yeah. So I think, I've, I've, I think I've had sort of two, but my bet, like I've had two peaks. Mm. That was obviously 2012 San Jose. Yeah. And, and Derby, uh, 2014 15 season when we got to the playoff final mm. uh and then sort of going on to the next year as well yeah uh, that was probably my best football because i've grown a lot since then um but that's when I, I i look back and i'm like there's sometimes in in seasons where you can't even remember what you did right you know you just turn up and i knew every game i was going to play well that's what happened in 2012 you were just in a zone I'll be honest, yeah. I'll be, honestly i was in a zone i'll be honest i used to come in before the game I used to like, I, I don't even care who I'm playing against, honestly. <laughs> it didn't matter. All I knew is what I was going to do. Yeah. And uh, I had that sort of same feeling in 2014, 15, and with Jamaica as well. Mm. So, um, yeah, that was my peak, I think. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And then, so we'll go into some Tottenham questions right now. Uh, do you, yeah. uh, of course, you're training with them, right? So you, yeah. so you do, you do follow them. So do you think under this current core that Jose Mourinho is capable of winning a Premier League? Do you think they could win something? Absolutely. I think with, yeah. with Jose Mourinho in charge anywhere, I think he's right. always capable of doing something. I mean, he's a, he's wait, a so how did that come to fruition? How did, how did you just go up to Jose, Jose and you just be like, hey, like, let me, let me yeah, train, no, you know, I'm Simon yeah, no. who do you, you know who this yeah, is? So I, <laughs> no, no, no. So I know the, um, there's a lot of people still there in San mm. Jose. I've got uh, my teammates who I used to play with from youth teams to, wow. uh, they, yeah, that's that. They're now, and i got uh, one of my best friends is a uh, sports scientist there. Oh, wow. I've got uh, one of the players is a coach there. There's um, managers there in the youth teams that tried to sign me before. So yeah. I know Tottenham very well. It's, a, mm. it's not far from me. Um, so that's, that's how it is, really. And again, it's mm. like, that was my boy boy club. I was there since I was right. um, 12, 13 mm. until 25, 26. Yeah, right. So it was like a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. So do you ever, do you have to go up to like Jose and be like, hey, like, can I no, train no. with you? <laughs> no, right? No. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> like go up to no, Bale, no. be like, hey, man, this is my rep. Get out of here. No, like, <laughs> yeah, I should. I should do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like again, like fair one, I've, I knew from before as well. Right, so right. Again, there's some first team players that I've known for for a while, like Hugo Lloris. Uh, we used to sit next to each other in the in the in the locker room. He's oh still wow! There. Yeah, Ledley Ledley King's a coach there. I used to mm. sit next to him also. So yeah, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> like oh oh snap, Simon's back, dude, for the, yeah, for the yeah, fourth yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a weird feeling for sure. That's awesome. Okay, so. Uh, Really, so like basically, the Englishman coming over to the American game, that has not been done that often. But the players like Jack Harrison is probably the most successful Englishman to come over to the American soccer system and then move to the English football system. Becoming a decent player for you, Leeds United. What do you think of the rise from Wake Forest, basically? Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember playing against. I don't, I don't still don't know too much about him, but mm. I, I do sort of know this some of his story. Yeah, I've been playing against 2000 and 
17, I think it was. Mm. Um, and I didn't realize he was a more English player. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I had no idea. Um, but you can see obviously the journey from what he was doing. It, 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 he's learned a lot by right. going to America, right. playing in America. Someone say this then, like, just like you. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. It's similar. Yeah. Very similar. Um, and then he's obviously learned a lot there and then obviously come back to, to England to play. Um, yeah. I'm sure he'll sure we'll return to the, to the US at some point as well in his career. Right. Um, but it's great to see because, like I said, I didn't really, really understand it at all. Mm-hmm. You know, where, where did he come from, whatever, and he was English. I was like, did he live there? You know, then I sort of found out a little bit. And that was very brave to do that, Yeah, you know, to, to leave. Because a lot of English players don't, you know, tend not to, right. to leave the country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they get stuck in that or not stuck, but they get, I guess, comfortable in that youth system. And that's kind of what Jack Harrison kind of got out of the youth system, then got into the draft and then basically became the top prospect in America. And, and that kind of catapulted him into the English lead squad that he's currently at. Massively, massively. And I always, I always say this even to this day, I think a lot of uh, English players here should look at doing stuff like that because you can really forge good careers out for yourself and like Jack's done now he's playing in the, in the, in the Premier League. Right. I mean, team for a lot of people um, Yeah. here, even in America, everywhere around the world, people want to play in the Premier right. League or just make good careers for themselves. So I, I definitely think a lot of English players should start doing that. Um, yeah. Like I've always, I've always been um, like always praising the, 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 the MLS because I think that's, it's a great league, mm. great, great league. And it's only growing. It's only getting better. Yeah. Um, so I, I definitely think people should do it. How do you feel like, I guess we can kind of go into this a little bit. It was a question a little later, but we'll go into it right now. How do you feel the perception of MLS is in England right now? How do you feel? What, yeah, what do they uh, think? Yeah, no. So now it's a lot better. Mm. Um, I think it's similar to, so uh, it's, it's difficult to explain because obviously everyone here thinks obviously Premier League is the best league in the world. It's the most right. watched league. Um, but I don't think people understand that there are a lot of good players in America. Yeah. And they're generating a lot of fans. Y- yeah. In America. A lot. I think even yeah. sometimes more than in England. Yeah. Atlanta at it, United sells out 70,000. It's insane. My, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And 70,000 in England is one of the big teams. Man United, that's what yeah. they get. You know, the Chelsea's, the Tottenham, Tottenham don't even reach that. I don't think. Or maybe <laughs> now they do. And, and do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's so, so different. And I think yeah. now it's starting to grow. I mean, I'll go back to when I was, um, when I first went there, 2011, I had no idea about the league. Right. When I went there and saw it, I mean, I was on the phone back to people here saying, you don't understand how good this league is. <laughs> you know, like you guys have to come out here, the, you know, the younger players, right. come out, try and see if you can sign for a team in the MLS because you, you will forge out a good career and you enjoy right. it because it's so big. And then obviously as the years go by, it starts to get better. I'm now only hear a lot of people in, in England talking about it. So um, it's growing for sure. And Simon, have you ever played FIFA before? Have you ever played kind of, you know, sticks a little bit? Uh, I, do you know what? Do you know what? I gave up those games a long time ago. Oh, okay. So I think when I was 15, I stopped playing those type of games. <laughs> because I, literally, I, was, I wasn't sleeping. I was playing all night. So now okay. I, only play, I only play here and there. You know, if I was in a day before a game, someone has it. Yeah. You know, I'll play. I'm not that good anymore, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't get into it anymore. No, but uh, so there, they had a little story mode on there where it was, you were an English youth player, right? And you went to MLS and made a name for yourself. So they actually, oh. yeah, the story, I think it was supposed to be centered around like a guy that looks kind of like Marcus Rashford type of deal. And he comes to play for the galaxy and he makes a name for himself. And then he go, but he goes back to England and then you choose the English team that you want to be on and you start for the Premier oh. League. So it's like, you know, they they kind of made it about your story, so maybe you should look into I mean, it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have a look into that for sure. That's on FIFA, yeah. Yeah, it's called the journey. So it's like you basic, yeah, you you're a youth, you're a youth squad team or a player for in England, and then you try to make the squad, and then they send you off to the MLS to make a name for yourself, and then you come back. All right, all right. Yeah, well, so okay. I was like, oh, yeah. you, you have to see that at least. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look into that for sure. <laughs> I didn't know that, but yeah, that's good. Hopefully that, you know, more and more people do it. So yeah, yeah, I think place. that changed the perception of a lot. I know it's going to sound weird. I know it's going to sound really weird, but a game could change the perception of a league to a lot of young kids. And I think that's that's where it kind of, 
it grows into something more while the years pass. So yeah, I agree. definitely change. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I, I agree. And so a little bit into Quake's questions now. This is the, the, the yeah. meat and potatoes of the, of the fan base right here. What's your favorite Quake's moment? If you had to say one, favorite moment. In, well, are we going both? We went both uh, times I was there? Or yeah.